northwestern province of Pakistan is Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Popular for its lush green landscapes, highest peaks, indigenous cultures, tasty food, and the Afghan border connecting the Central and South Asia. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is Pakistan's third largest region by population. It is the country's tourism treasure chest and is fast becoming a destination of choice for domestic and foreign tourists. The province is well endowed with natural resources and shaped by the Hindu Kush and Himalaya mountains that offer stunning alpine landscapes, iconic wildlife, lush forests, numerous glaciers, and breathtaking lakes. With rich traditions, variety of languages, and the oldest civilizations of the world, this is the land of fresh fruits, rich minerals, natural habitat for wildlife, and much more to explore. This is Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Here you will find the history, remains of ancient civilizations spread all over mountains, and timeless relics archived in museums across the province. It boasts sites of historical and religious significance that cover over 2,000 years of history, with Buddhist, Muslim, and Christian evidence of global importance, including 6,000 sites of Gandhara heritage, some of which have been excavated and restored by the KP Directorate of Archaeology and Museums, and are now accessible to tourists. Civilizations excelled here, paving the way for unique architecture and glorious art. Empires were built and ruined, but life went on as dignified as it could be. There are more than 20 archaeological sites as listed by UNESCO that will take you to the oldest way of living on this part of the world. Religions flourished here, and people enjoyed the freedom of worshiping and found spirituality all the way from their hearts and minds. The province used to welcome 50,000 international visitors per year before an almost decade-long conflict that finally ended in 2017. However, beginning in 2015, the numbers of domestic arrivals have led to a mushrooming of tourism ventures and activities that, if managed sustainably, can drive economic growth across many rural sections of the province. While visiting KP, one cannot resist to taste delicious traditional cuisines. From north to south, the province offers a variety for tasty and mouth-watering traditional food, like kebab, tikka, and mutton karahi are some of the famous dishes. While some traditional sweets like mardan amrasa, di khan khawa are also famous. Wildlife enthusiasts find their parks here, where you are welcomed for tours, hiking expeditions, and hunting. Hundreds of species of birds and animals found across the province have become an attraction for local and foreign tourists. The province is also a sanctuary for some of the world's unique animals and birds that are not commonly found in other parts of the globe. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is blessed with mesmerizing waterfalls and lakes attracting hundreds and thousands of tourists every year. Being a vast region, the climate varies, encompassing many climate types found in Pakistan. The northern region is cold and snowy in winters with heavy rainfall and pleasant in summers, whereas the plain areas are hot in summer but pleasant in winter. The low numbers of international arrivals have been compensated by domestic tourism, which has been growing over the years. The total number of domestic tourisms in Pakistan during 2016 was 80 million, 
up from 46 million in 2009. Findings of a survey completed in 2018 show that 4.45 million tourists visit Galiat, Naran, Kalam, and Kumrat in 2018. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is gifted with a natural ecology in land, fit to grow some fine quality fruits and vegetables. The province has a vast mountainous area, naturally conducive for growing precious quality of dry fruits like walnuts, pine nuts, and almonds. KP also produces sweet and delicious oranges, peaches, apples. Likewise, in plain areas, guava, citrus, strawberry, plums, apricot, and dates are abundantly produced. Hidden north of KP are the Kalasha Valleys in Chitral District, surrounded by the Hindu Kush mountain range. The inhabitants of the valley are the Kalash people, who have a unique culture, language, and follow a form of ancient Hinduism. As such, the Kalasha Valleys are a source of attraction for Pakistani as well as international tourists. The people of Kalash celebrate three festivals every year in spring, summer, and winter. Chilam Joshi Festival is one of the most vital Kalash festivals, also known as Kalash Spring Festival. The Kalash people celebrate this four-day festival across all three Kalash valleys, and a large number of domestic and foreign tourists attend the Chalam Joshi festival every year. Apart from astonishing traditional sports, the king of games, polo, is played at one of the highest grounds of the world, Shandur, at an altitude of 12,500 feet. Every year, Shandur invites visitors to experience a traditional polo tournament between the teams of Chitral and Gilgit from the 7th to the 9th of July. The festival also includes folk music, folk dance, traditional sports, and a camping village is set up on the pass. This freestyle game between Chitral and Gilgit teams is witnessed by spectators coming from different parts of the world. Polo is an equestrian sport, with its origin embedded in Central Asia dating back to the 6th century BC. Another 2,000-year-old festival in Chitral is the Jashni Kaklesht, celebrated every year. The four-day festival features traditional sports and cultural events of the surrounding local communities, organized at the flat green terrain near Boni in Upper Chitral. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is likely to remain a preferred domestic destination with its unrivaled natural and cultural attractions and the population's newfound love of travel, spurred by a combination of the improved security situation and the promotional efforts of KP Department of Tourism, Sports, Culture and Youth Affairs. The Tourism Corporation KP, through their tourism promotional activities, has helped in reviving the spirit of tourism after a decade-long suffering in the province. The Tourism Corporation Khyber Pakhtunkhwa has set up camping pods at scenic spots in Swat, Kahan, Tandiani, and Shengla. The camping pods are unique, insulated wooden huts that enables the tourist to take in the marvelous sights in the wild from a comfortable, spacious, and safe accommodation with all the basic necessities that a person requires. The Sustainable Development Strategy of the province aims to provide a strategic direction to the development of KP's governance, social and economic sectors, economic revitalization, job creation, and tourism development are at the center of KP's development roadmap. 
The direct contribution of tourism and travel to Pakistan's GDP was $8.8 billion, which was 2.9% of GDP in 2017. During the same year, tourism and travel supported 3,894,000 direct and indirect jobs, 6.5% of the country's total employment. In 2017, tourism and travel investments in Pakistan made up 9.1% of total investments, a share that is projected to rise by 5.2% during 2018-19 in response to growing domestic tourism. Even in this era of industrialization, the traditional handicrafts produced in the province are still famous and liked by domestic and even foreign tourists while traveling here. Whether it's about footwear, clothes, decorative or consumable items, you will find them handcrafted by artisans who inherited their skills of ancient artistry from their ancestors. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is expected to become one of the top tourist destinations in the world in the coming years. Only in 2018-19, thousands of national and international tourists visited and enjoyed the scenic beauty and cultural heritage of the province, and more are expected to visit in coming years. It is said that the world is a book, and those who don't travel only read one page. So turn the pages, explore nature at its best.